Got one. Got one. There he is. Three hit. Three jerks of the rod tip. Welcome back to Fishing the DMV. And we're going to hit a couple of ponds in uh, the Percival area of Virginia. Let's see what happens today. So basically what I did here, this is a 2.8 inch Kitek. And then what I do is I bite it off a little bit and I super glue the head. Got a little ripple on the water. That's the thing too, is pond fishing in the wintertime can be absolutely gangbusters. Got one. Got one. There's one. Good one. There he is. Ah, look at that. Little Kai Tech in the face, and he is freezing cold, absolutely cold. But look at the colorations on him. Look at that pop. And that's the thing is with these fish, when they get super cold like that, their mouths actually get a little bit harder. So you don't, you really want to get a super sticky sharp hook that can actually get in there and hit them home. And because, let me get this one back. Look how pretty he is. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. In the winter time, fish really don't fight as hard as they do in the warmer months. Because of that, you can get away with a lot lighter tackle. This is on 10 pound test to this guppy style hook. And this is a very thin wire hook right here. And that super sticky sharp end really gets in there on their super tough mouths. <clears throat> Now, all I'm doing with this thing is just got him. Got him. Another one. Beautiful. Get in there. See? Stuck him. Look how bright red he is. Oh, he's so cold. Guys, he is freezing. Pretty fish. Absolutely gorgeous. And get him back. Number two. When it gets super duper cold like this in the wintertime, and you have those warm days, ponds are the first thing that are going to react to that, that warming trend. Um, and the other benefit about fishing the ponds in the wintertime is usually ponds like this. This one seems like it's fairly shallow. It gets like a mucky grass, it gets pond scum on it, and you really can't fish a lot of baits. But right now, with everything died back, you can get away with different types of lures. And one of my favorite of all time is going with this super small Kai, Kai Tech and just slow rolling it. Um, again, with ponds, you really got to be conscious of where you are in the country because a lot of times, like there's big, massive swim baits, a big chatter bait, they just don't work um, for a multitude of reasons. One being maybe you don't have big fish. But the other one is, what are they targeting? A lot of times in these ponds, you, you if you throw a big Huddleston, yeah, there might be a six pound bass in there, but that might not be something he's keyed in on. All ponds have little minnows. All ponds have something that looks like a, a baby bluegill. So try to key in on that. Uh, one more thing with this, and this will be in the, uh, the episode description, a light head. Go with a super light head, and all I'm doing is I'm just engaging the reel and just slowly turning the handle. Let's see if we get another one here. And you know, she's stuck, got one. Didn't even feel her. Oh my God, that one's big. That one's big. She swallowed that Kai Tech. Oh, oh, don't come out, don't come out, don't, don't come out. Yes, goodness. <laughs> Look at that toad. That's not bad for Virginia in December. She absolutely killed it. Beautiful chunk. Absolutely gorgeous fish. All right, let's get her back. Other reason I went with this Kai Tech, I don't know if you can really see it right now, but the water is super duper clean and super clear. And that, that actually happens to a lot of fisheries in the wintertime. Um, you know, you always think about it on big lakes, but that'll happen on ponds too. And when it gets super clean like this, a little swim bait is magic. The other thing you can do is also a jerk bait too. Should probably give it a give that a shot here as well. All right, it's the other pond, and this is like the shallower version of this. This rip stop is the name of it. The difference in a pond when you're working got one. Cast number three with the jerk bait. Oh my goodness! Look at this little guy. Look at him. 
Why, hello, sir. Dang, you wanted that thing. Dude, it is like holding an icicle right now. Eh. Look at him. Ah, go. Be free. Anyway, so like I was saying, this is like one of my favorite, which is the, this is the Shadow Wrap Rip Stop 60. Silver color. Got one. Got one. There he is. Three hit. Three jerks of the rod tip. He's not coming off. He's foul hooked. He feels like he's foul hooked. Yeah, he's foul hooked. <clears throat> Look at that bright red jaws. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Just barely gum hooked. You know, I'm not going to fool with this. A little shad rat fish. Look at this. December. Place to myself. Clear water. Match the right baits up, guys. That's all you need to do. When the day's nice, get out there with those couple of baits. 